good day grade 8 this is teacher Ian and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to find X and Y intercept and the slope I already did a tutorial about this topic previously kung maaalala nyo ito yun sketch the graph using X and Y intercept and find the slope isang example lang ibinigay ko so I decided to make a part of this Focusing on getting the x and y intercept and the slope because I believe Finding these three is the most important in this lesson because sketching the graph is kind of easy When you already have the x and y axis, so let's start First we need to get the x intercept in the last video. I said x intercept is where y is equal to zero so to get that, we just need to list the x-intercept, the intercept, copy the equation, x plus 1 minus y equals 0. Sabe ang y daw equals to 0. So x plus 1 minus, wait natin sa 0 si y, equals 0. Magiging na lang x plus 1, kasi wala na si 0 equals 0. Lipat natin, magiging ah, x plus 1 pala. So, 1. x plus 1 equals 0. Lipat natin si plus 1. Subtraction property equality or pag nilipat mo, magiging negative. Sabi ni teacher. If x equals to negative 1. And, the coordinate for our x-axis will be will be wait a minute ang ating x axis negative 1 ang ating or ating x intercept x value is negative 1 ang ating y is 0 kasi nga x intercept to ang y equals to 0 iniquate natin kay 0 so that's is the x intercept ito yun negative 1 0 Next, the y-intercept. Intercept. Yan na lang. Copy the equation. x plus 1 minus y equals 0. Equate natin si x kay 0. 0 plus 1 minus y equals 0. Magiging 1 na lang minus y equals 0. Lipat natin si 1. Magiging negative y equals negative 1. Multiply natin both sides by negative 1 para matanggal yung negative sa ating variable. Magiging na siyang positive y kasi negative y times negative 1 is positive y equals ito negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Ating ordered pair for y intercept is 0 kasi nga x axis y intercept to 0 1 0 si x 1 ang ating y y coordinates or y value and last the slope m is equal to rise over run change in y over change of x or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 ang ating y sub 2 y sub 1 x sub 2 x sub 1 pwede natin gamitin yung nakuha natin coordinates itong dalawa so x sub 1 natin is Ito, kapit akong red. Ito ang ating x sub 1, y sub 1. x sub 2, y sub 2. Substitute lang natin. m is equal to y sub 2 natin is 1 minus y sub 1 is 0. Over x sub 2 natin is 0 minus x sub 1 natin is negative 1. Then, ang ating slope ay magiging 1 minus 0 is 1 over 0 minus negative 1 KCC, keep change change. Negative times negative is positive. So, yun ay 1. Kaya, ang slope natin, pwede na to. 1 over 1. Para hindi kayo malito kasi rise over run yan, ba? Magagamit natin itong numerator and denominator sa paghanap ng next point. Or... 
Pwede naman ganito, 1 na lang. Kahit alin dyan, okay lang. Pero mas maraming teacher gusto nila nakasimplify, nakaganito. Pero kung gagamitin nyo to para maghanap ng next point, I suggest ito na lang, 1 and 1 para di nakakalito. Next, number 2. Mabilis lang. X-intercept. X-inter na lang. Copy the equation. X minus Y minus 2 equals 0. And equate natin si Y kay 0. Minus 2 equals 0. Magiging X minus 0 is X pa rin. Minus 2 equals 0. X, si minus 2, lipat natin, or sa pro addition property of equality, equals 2. Ito na yun. X is equal to 2. X intercept natin ay 2. Ating ordered pair ay 2 and 0. 2 si X. Y natin ito, in equate kay 0. Next, for Y intercept, Copy the equation, x minus y minus 2 equals 0. x natin equate kay 0, minus y minus 2 equals 0. Negative y minus 2 equals 0. Lipat si negative 2 or si minus 2, magbabago yung sign yan, kaya maging negative y equals 2. Then, bawal yung may negative na variable. Kaya multiply natin to both side by negative 1. Si negative 1 times negative y ay y na lang. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Plus, getting the slope. A slow, our slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1. I forgot to write the coordinates for y intercept. Y coordinates natin ay 0 si x and negative 2 ang ating y. Label natin, ito ang ating x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, m is equal to, y sub 2 natin is negative 2, y sub 1 natin is 0, minus 0, over x sub 2 is 0, minus x sub 1, 2. So, m is equal to negative 2 minus 0 is still negative 2. 0 minus negative 2 is still negative 2. Therefore, our m will be equal to negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. So, that's it. I hope you are now familiar with our process in finding the x-intercept, y-intercept, and finally, the slope. Get the x-intercept by equating the y-value to 0. Get the y-intercept by doing the vice versa or equating the x-value as 0. Then if you get the x and y-value, we can now write the ordered pair. Write the ordered pair so that it can be easily substituted when we are now solving for the m or the slope. This is the formula for the slope. M is equal y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is easy to remember. The only thing for us to do is to substitute. Substitute, substitute the value, then solve. And that's all for this video. I hope you understand how to find the x and y intercept together with the slope. And thank you for watching, goodbye, and good luck to whatever exam you're supposed to take. Thank you for watching, goodbye.